If you want to have impact, uh, usually delegation is important. Uh, although, you know, individual contributors in terms of inventing a drug or a new approach to things, that's phenomenal. So when Microsoft first got started, I wrote most of the code and everybody else's code I read and kind of rewrote. Uh, and <laughs> that got us up to 10 people. And then I had to say to myself, okay, we're gonna ship code that I didn't edit. Uh, and that was hard for me, uh, but I, you know, I kind of got over that. Then I still said, okay, I'm gonna interview everyone and I'm gonna at least look at samples of their code. Well, that got us up to about 40 people. And that was at a point where I had sold way more software than we could write uh, because everybody was so impressed. And I thought, well, I need to keep enough, collect enough money to you know, keep hiring all these people. But uh, the demand was so high that you know, we were actually falling behind. That's when I hired Steve. And Steve figured out, A, uh, how to control what promises I made to people. Uh, and B, how to hire lots of people, and good, really good people, and create organizations and teams. So I delegated to Steve that, and he was constantly saying to me, okay, we're gonna hire programmers that you've never met, and I'd say, no, we're not. And then he, he would show me numerically that the constraint wasn't gonna work, uh, you know, so uh, then I said, okay, then I would, you know, know all the managers of the people. And so over time, uh, and of course, you know, I could say the quality per person was falling monotonically, uh, 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 <laughs> according to me. Uh, but, you know, large problems, uh, if you want to, you know, write the most popular uh, office productivity software, that one person absolutely can't do that. You can write pretty code. So everyone has to decide what scale of organization they want to work in. Eventually, you know, my role was very much as a leader and a reviewer of managers, but the top people, and I hired some super experienced people, uh, I would make sure they were pursuing a common vision and they were well coordinated. But in terms of a lot of management stuff, they were way better than I was. Now I had to have the framework to know what mix of skills that we needed and you know when they were working well enough together, but a lot of uh, you know my value add of was picking, say, to do graphics user interface or to do an integrated office uh, type thing or to go global and not use agents to have Microsoft be present all over the world. And so, yeah, picking what you're good at and how you find the other people uh, to fill in those things, that's super important. And most founders don't, aren't able to scale that up and kind of give up the hands-on things that they used to get a lot of uh, pleasure and comfort from.